ever want to scam a credit card, this is the place. These things are what everybody uses. Whenever my credit card got stolen, somebody's buying like a Coca-Cola for a buck fifty at a vending machine. I'm not a huge fan of these automated ones. You know what I mean? Just part of me wonders how many of these are just like kids with fraud and stuff going on. <clears throat> and now we're on another start. I'll just capture these real quick. Oh, wow, that's really cool. See, look at all these other people. They put this stuff so the pigeons won't trap on their sill. But these guys, they fire escape. They still have to give them the equality and the access to poop on their still. You know? Yeah. And that, to me, pigeons crapping and pigeons laying around and just chilling here, that's really part of an urban environment. And oh, look at that bus as it's going. It's a little orange bus. It's like a 90s. Look at that thing. It just was really distinctive. It said something OG, something or another. I don't know if it's a party bus or what, but it was kind of cool. So we're leaving the Dallas building right there. This is the uh, United Fire building, one in the corner here. Um, what's interesting is the two newer buildings downtown, the Great America building and the uh, What's the other building called? The CRST building? They don't have skywalk access. You know? Yet. Yet. But it, I, I wouldn't hold your breath. It's just something that I thought was interesting that they never got skywalk access so far. A lot of financial stuff down here. It's almost like you're in Des Moines. You just have all these financial products, services, buildings, just shuffling money back and forth to each other, creating all kinds of jobs and products. I really like I really like that spiral uh, fire escape. Ooh, that is cool. You know, honestly, until you mentioned it, I never even noticed that. Just kind of that is cool. It'd be really cool to do a movie where somebody's chasing you. Yeah. Down that with like a chainsaw and in their way, like, you know. Yeah. It's pretty trippy. Uh -huh. Here's the U.S. Bank building. That one's kind of cool. End of the road, and you can see the PCI Palace. Yep, uh, way off there in the distance. It's yeah. almost, it's almost like the, uh, what, do, what do they call it in art? There's like a point. It when you're creating a perspective picture, there's like a, a focal point, something like that. Yeah. It's like a point in the center where you're and where, where you're drawing a like if you were going to draw a picture of this, and that PCI building would be, would be that focal point. The thing too with that is they never really learned how to understand what a skywalk is because they were one of the first private public partnerships in the Cedar Rapids area post flood. And instead of keeping this road open, they just took it over and now it's a palace up there. Yeah, um, and it's kind of a pain because like you can't go the whole length of a, of a, whenever anybody kind of puts something in the middle of a street, it's kind of a pain in the ass. <laughs> Doesn't happen hint, anymore. hint. <laughs> Roundabouts. Yeah. Oh. The finest European waving trap. Oh, see, look at all that. Birds. See the birds? These guys allow and liberate the birds so they can crap on their still. Yeah. You know, and it just adds to that realism. You know, they're not trying to make it look artificially clean and shiny for anybody. And I dig this carpet. Yeah, pretty trippy. Cool design. Kind of, a, I, I like geometric art. Mm. And it is kind of that. So this way we can go to the, the United Fire Group, and that way we can go to Coventry Lofts and that. I don't know. We'll see. That one's a pretty big place, and there's probably going to be a lot of people coming out. Let's go here first and then come back. Well, actually, I think if we go to U.S. Bank, we can connect over that way. So maybe we'll go the other way. What's, why don't they, they really should have a guy here that would really kind of help us to. 
a guide? <laughs> yeah, well, you know, like the picture. Oh, you, you don't mean like a person? Oh, man. Okay. So not like just a person just paid to stand here? No, I'm, I'm like the guide. We'll go here quick and see if they'll kick us out. Hopefully they'll be chill. But this is, I've been here before, and there's usually like offices right in the center of this stuff. You know, they have huge boardroom meetings and, you know, big insurance financing stuff. They're doing, here's part of that. I think they're taking over the American building, which was actually one of our first videos. You know, totally accurate and factual information. <laughs> <laughs> Then you can see the Iowa Realty building that was made by Jim Dreyer in the background of the uh, Great American one. There's the Roosevelt. Somebody's having a Roosevelt uh, dream over there. And this is about as close as we get to the Roosevelt, I think, right? Probably. I don't think there's any other skywalk near. And you can see Quaker Oats and the, uh, the overpass, uh, 380 overpass. And then bringing it around this way. Not as generous with the air conditioning. You can see how the downtown and their slogan is Dwine, Dying Dwell Do. Another one of those stupid uh, slogans with three one word sentences. Well, you know, the next thing they're going to do for marketing song is. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. no the ne ne next, next is going to be uh, emoticons. Just oh, like. Just okay. like there's too many syllables and words in that yeah. for it to be effective. Other people call them emojis. I call them emoticons. But it's that's going to be the new, those are going to be the new slogans. They're not even going to be words. They're just going to be symbols. But I have to give them credit. They still call it downtown, which is what it is. Um, unlike downtown Marion, they've started calling downtown Marion uptown uh, just to sound more upscale, which annoys me. But, yep, and then... You can see other skywalks in the distance, which is kind of cool. You can kind of see where you've been and where you're going. Oh, another another fire escape. This one's a little different, but it's it's not a spiral, but it's still kind of cool. I really feel like a fire escape like that really adds character to a building. Oh yeah. Before we had cold, man. Now we gotta hang out here with you guys. It, it, but it does. Red's public house. Yep. Is that a, that's relatively new, right? Uh, it's older, but they rehabbed it and stuff. And I think I'm gonna have a rib there on Friday. I really want to get those ribs sometime. I love ribs. I'm a big barbecue fan. Because that's just the blue zone healthy choice <laughs> meal. It's the best for you. Yes. And the last time I took a walk. Gently. Anyone? Yeah, the last time I walked the Skywalk, I did it with a bunch of Blue Zone people. <laughs> and I'm not a big fan of the Blue Zone project. I feel like a, a person's health choices are a personal thing. They're not really meant to be something. Mm -hmm. They're none of the community's business. But it was convenient because I had somebody to guide me through the Skywalk, and I could take a video of it, so I kind of used just the... Cool yeah, kind of used that to my advantage. They were good friends on your sovereignty. No. I'm, I, this ain't Michael Blue, Bloomberg's, uh, Bloomberg's zone. This is. I wasn't actually doing it to get fit. I was doing it to make a documentary. But it just didn't pan out as well because you didn't have me along. And I just made this thing like 10 times better. Plus, you got a camera that will help. But this, I Ooh, like some, this spot right here. Some nice plants. Uh, when we can sit down for Yeah, we can. Go a little ways more. So you have these ch chairs facing the facing the window and it's a kind of a nice view. Ugh. Ugh. Do these twist around? They do, so I can I can sit down and I can spy on people from the window and I can do a 360 put my feet on the table you're going to 
Yeah, so it's kind of a nice place to spit, or to sit and spit. They don't have a spittoon, unfortunately. They need to add that. But uh, no, I, I bet a lot of people take their lunch breaks here. They have a few other ones like this. And right here is kind of a cool thing. You can kind of see the entrance to this uh, place here. The skywalk, and, or skylights, and all that. Did you know they still meet Reader's Digest? Yes. I was not aware of that until I saw it in here. Down won't freeze. Cedar Rapids tonight. How old is that magazine, though? It's uh, March 2014. That's only three years. And, and then we can try to go on a spiral. Part of me feels like with the construction, this is where we're going to end for this portion of the journey. But I always see. Oh, yeah, we, we are probably going to, yeah, there's, there's, they, they actually walled this off. We're, we're going nowhere. Because they're redoing this building. Damn. So that's the American building. <laughs> so so they've, they've, uh, there was more over there? Or? Oh, yeah, I, I remember I walked down more there. But they walled it off because they're redoing that building. We'll eventually probably open it up again. Okay. Well, in a couple of years, we'll just have to shoot an updated uh, Skywalk yeah, documentary. 2020. Skywalk 2020. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a science fiction movie from the 70s. Yeah. Skywalk 2020. No. I don't know. When you walk in the sky, the sky walks on you. <laughs> I don't know if there's much more to see with the United Fire. I'd probably just say we shoot that for 2020 and we can head back to U.S. Bank. Really? Yeah, I mean, if you want to go there. We might as well check it out. Okay. Just like, just to be on the safe side. This way for them. Okay. Water and they get cuts in it. That's really cool. Yeah, what's the one in Twin Peaks the insurance company there? It's like Lucky Seven? I think so. Yeah. Thanks. Then there's a line again. Skywalk here. And this is 2nd Avenue, right? Yep, 2nd yeah. Avenue again. CRST building. And, and that's where we just were, right? What? Yeah, that's the building we were just in. That's the... Uh, that skywalk there is where we just were. So you can you see, you can really get around. Without having to go out doors. And can't even, there. don't even have to touch the ground. So, well, it's cool with the alignment lines. That's a 30 tower building right now. And for the last 40 some years, that's the tallest building that we've had in town here. Yep, I think what, like 216 feet or something like that? Yeah, something like that. It's pretty, pretty tall. Never yeah. been in. Like that. Not everybody was that would be cool someday to, uh, maybe we should ask Bill. Maybe Bill could, like. Uh, well, see, I know some people that currently work there. But they told me that there is the top floor. It's not even like a viewing deck, it's just like an office and storage area. Hmm. So, danger under construction. I don't know why it's a treadmill under construction. Well, it's probably like a guy with like a hard hat and a jackhammer would be more fitting. Optimism is the faith that leads to achieve. Nothing can be done without hope and confidence.
it's right there. So that, so anyhow, I think that's about it for this building. Damn, it's already five feet. Mumble number five. Wasn't <laughs> that that song? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> a little bit of Monica in my life. <laughs> and that was right during the, the Clinton uh, sex scandal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it was a little bit, uh, a little unfortunate for him. I think he probably said it deliberately. <laughs> you think so? Yeah, I mean, depending on what he got released, he might have been like, that get him some views. Because back yeah back then YouTube was didn't exist yet yeah it, it was, was like not the, the internet barely existed. Like, yeah, my dial up. yeah look at that picture. I mean use like maybe views on MTV. Yeah I guess getting views that have been viewership or listen or or listen more people listen to it on the radio or. Would you say that we're about like 80% done at this point or? I'd say we're yeah, probably 75, 80%. Here's the blue strawberry, different businesses here. Blue strawberry, who ever heard of such a thing? <laughs> it's one that got a lot of mold on it. GMOs, oh. Monsanto baby. Oh. So let's see here where we're going to go. Oh, this is, oh, this one is kind of cool. Is this to me with the red brick, it's always kind of like this Western Kind of. Yeah, there are a lot of cool designs uh, in this place and in these uh, in these buildings. Oh, it's a Cedar Rapids, no, it's not. But that's a cool image in the blue strawberry again. Iowa human surfaces. Let's see if we can go here. The white's green. So we'll eventually go that way. Now let's go over here. I think this way this is Coventry Walks and a few other things. So let's see if we can get in here. So I think U.S. Bank is probably where we're going to end most of it. Oh, oh. Yeah, this is definitely open with the chain link there. Yep. But I think eventually this will be something cool. There was a bar, the Syndicate, that was here. Now this area we're coming up to, it's cool because it has another seating area. I've spent a fair amount of time here, and it's a pretty cool space. Yeah, look at that. And the air conditioning's nice, and the views, the sky. You can see the sky up above you, and it's... And then we saw the Paramount earlier. Here's Cedar Cedar Rapids, really the community theater in the area. Nice place to just sit down for a while and chill out and uh, pretty much we have a little bit over there kind of and in the US cellular center and there's a kind of walk system and we should be good. 
cool. Yeah, it's peaceful. It feels to me almost like this is an alternate reality and an alternate first here. I mean, I, I know it's not, but it just has this kind of weird dimension with the with the dome that's kind of encasing it here, and just the way that you're you're part of the area, but you're not part of the area. You're here, but you're not here. Well, it's like you're all. It's almost like you're outside, but you're not quite yeah. outside. So yeah, it's a it's a cool feeling. And it's nice to sit because I am a little, little tired. <laughs> There's 15 minutes of footage of us just sitting here. Yeah. I just feel like, oh, this is a cool place. The five season center barely got built, and they demolished a bunch of stuff in the process, like originally in the 70s. Bond issue after bond issue after bond issue failed, and then they finally got it passed, you know. And then it just went bankrupt a bunch of times, and now the city owns it. So it's still a burden to the taxpayers. <laughs> like 40 years later. Um, it's a cool building, I guess, though. And it's, it looks nice. I've, I've gone there for some stuff sometimes. They have they host events, and it's kind of an asset. But I kind of feel like when something's an asset for the community, it's either a nonprofit, it doesn't just drain the cities, the taxpayers, and a lot of money, or it's a for profit asset that actually generates income and taxes for the city. But, uh, and then they shut down the only other hotel that they had to compete with, Best Western. We've already been through the Cooper's Mill, Best Western, you know. Yeah. Before. Well, that guy, that guy quit of his own volition, which, yeah, he did. which is a, which is, which is comforting because I'm a very kind of separation of government and business kind of person in, in a lot of ways. Like I, I don't believe in like, uh, you know, local governments picking winners and losers and, you know, eminent domain. eminent domain and shit like that. I really believe in property rights. And if, if, a, if a business is turning a profit, I think they have every right to be where they are and like not, not be uh, hassled by the city just because the city wants to do a pet project that probably won't even work because it's not viable. It's, it's just my view. I mean, I, I, I realized that, you know, the, world is complicated and that that doesn't oh, things don't always work like that but it's just at my gut level and who I am as a person it's really what I believe and I'll probably vote with that spirit in mind so I'm kind of leaning more in a libertarian direction all the time because it just it's more and more kind of reflecting who I am as a person at least when it comes to the property rights issues and things like that Yeah, I thought it was really cool how we, we caught those three pigeons because it looked it looked like they were just hanging out, like they were just like in a row like that and <laughs> just like chilling out like three old men or something sitting on a bench. But I suppose we better get up. <laughs> yes. What is property? What what is what is ownership? What is freedom? What is liberty? <laughs> There's Theater Cedar Rapids. Hedges Library, what's that? Uh, it's actually named after T.H. Uh, Hedges or whatever his name was. There's the Hedges Realty that's now a Coldwell Banker Hedges. They're like one of the oldest continually, op continually operating realtors in Cedar Rapids. They were started in like the 1890s. Is, so, yeah. is, it, is it an actual library? Or, I mean, it's a private library? Uh, or? I think it's a private library. It's theater and underwater basket weaving or whatever else they want to do. But the Linky Lounge is cool, too. The Linky family... Cedar Memorial pretty much saved um, Theater Cedar Rapids and it really helped. So, like, I mean, who uses that library then? I've never been in it, I couldn't tell you. I mean, we could probably do a video about the library. Ow! I mean, I would hope that it's a public, uh, I mean, if it's not a, the thing is, if it's not, if it's a private library, 
why why advertise it? You know, it's like that. That always kind of makes me laugh when people advertise private things. Mm -hmm. You know, like when they when they name their their estate or something like those houses on East Post Road, yeah. and then uh, like Beaver Hollow or whatever, and then it says private underneath. And it's like, well, if it's private, then why are you uh, advertising it? Yeah, just to show how cool it is. Like, yeah, you can't get in. It's yeah, like, it's like you can't like a country get country club. <laughs> yeah, because even a lot of the fraternal societies and private organizations, they don't usually put a huge sign saying this is a secret private group da, 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 and all that so so that way is u.s bank we go over there that way is the parking garage here's another cool skywalk perspective that one over there will lead you to the library and again another perspective the theater cedar rapids i think this was the iowa um, theater building before that Oh, Vanishing Point. That's the. Point. That's yep. what it's called. And that's what Mount Trashmore is. Too. Yep. Right now, uh, Mount Trashmore is the Vanishing Point. And see, look at the fancy sign for the University of Iowa. That's why you look outside. They got this huge sign saying, "This is where you go when you made it." But above the Ely Building, you go in there, and it's just like two metal doors. Huh? There's also uh, the Whit the Whitware Senior Center which is now where White Star and a bunch of other businesses are. Back in the day, that was the post office. I wonder where Graham disappeared from. Did you see me? No, he looked on my phone. It's like a number that's coming up for him before I looked at it. Like, I thought it was a lot of email address. So then I tried it out of just right now. Can you wait? It's a cell phone. So where do we go from here? I think this ends the continuous journey. Okay. There might be a way if we could get to... Um, <clears throat> oh, isn't the only thing left the one, the, the, the five seasons, the five season, or the double tree uh, yeah. one? And we can let's figure out how to do it. I don't know if we can get to it from here. They don't really have a map. Yeah. So I think we have to leave and just go to the double tree. They will probably definitely kick us out if we're filming. Okay. Just because that's how they are. Well, um, it might not even be really be worth going to, really, you think? We can give it a shot. We can start at their parking garage. So let's, let's just go down. To, where, are they, where are the elevator? Let's go to the elevator here. Well, let's just go to the first round wall. And then we'll, we can give it a shot. We're already over here. Just knock it all off. And, you know. Okay. Six floor, but I doubt we'd see much here. It said the skywalk system's on the third, which we were on, but <clears throat> kind of got a kick. Fusion Farm, part of the Gazette, right there below. Oh, it's muggy out here. Yeah, it's pretty trendy. The rain did nothing. <laughs> nothing! Nothing! Yeah, so let's let's advertise even though it's a private thing. So let's let you get one right here. These are all going out on the ground. Oh, that's the skywalk. It doesn't connect with the other skywalks. Yep. And maybe there's a secret hidden entrance to the skywalk. 
Maybe we can go inside yeah. the double tree. You want to do that? Yeah, we'll go inside. We'll go up to the skywalk there. Lady Lounge. So you actually go in and get in over there. There's what? It's the elevator. Okay, that's good. Gotta walk in the entrance here. It's nice that they marked the where it's at too. And this used to be the Five Seasons Center. It got the US Cellular Center about 20 years ago when they bought the naming rights. Mm. Do it. Okay, so it looks like we will be able to uh if not cross it, at least see it close up. Yeah. And here we have First Ave. He's going straight to the security phone, <laughs> trying to figure out how to disable it, I guess. Yeah. Oh, hey, look at the CRST truck. That'd be kind of a cool image. There's the CRST towers there. And then there's the CRS, Cedar Rapids Bank and Trust Building. Um, this is the Burlington Central Rail, and it's something Burlington. I don't remember the actual acronym, but it was a train station, uh, or train business uh, offices here. And that one there. This is all a really significant image. You can see Fat Wally's over there, too. Um, they want to demolish all this and put a casino for Steve Emerson here. It's something that's been debated. But because uh, he owns most of this and all that, we'll see if that happens. Or, yeah. You mean they demolish Fat Wally's too? Uh, I don't think Fat Wally's, but I think everything from the Goodyear to the Sculpin Realty and all that. They already are going to kick out the one lady who has a sub city, the sandwich shop there. Um, and yeah. <clears throat> So this is First Avenue. This is the main street of Cedar Rapids, Iowa. You can go here to the west side. You can go here to the east side, to Fairfax, to Marion. And you can see the baseball stadium right over there with those big lights and the football stadiums. I don't think they had the skywalk before the flood of a wave. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, maybe not. I don't remember. But I don't think they did. I'm pretty sure they did not have this skywalk. Um, look at how modern and new it looks, you know? Yeah. Maybe they just really did a good job of modeling it. But I'm pretty sure, because we don't see any other skywalk on First Ave, that they never had a skywalk here. Yeah. And you can kind of see how the road... There, there's a, it goes slightly uphill like that. The, that's, that's where the water stopped, basically. Yep. Because downtown Cedar Rapids is in this basin, basically. And I think the water right up, right up kind of, kind of that, that street there where that stoplight is, I think that's, that's about where it stopped. Yep. There's the art museum over there. The First Presbyterian Church, sandwich shop. A casino has also been proposed as part of this place here, the better proposal. Um, oh, are we going to be able to walk that one? I you think th so. That's okay. the last of the skywalk. Hopefully we walk. It's cool that they haven't walked it down. This craziness. Look at that. It's a pigeon in a nest. Or I think that's a pigeon. Yeah. Or it's actually a secret monitoring securing system that just is disguised as a pigeon. Like a robot. Yeah. 
that, that's cool. Pigeons are, it has a red eye. That, <laughs> that's kind of, it's like a little blinking LED light. Camera on. Oh, and this is kind of a cool carpet, like trees, kind of. And, uh, well, we'll be coming to the end of our documentary soon, and it's cool that we finally got it done. We've been talking about doing it for about two years, I think. <laughs> and we got it. And now we are actually in the Five Seasons Center. They redid this, made it look really shiny, never even added an additional seat. They just got rid of the orange yellow crap and just made it look pretty. I mean, it's nice. I've gone to different events here. It is nice. But at what price? Yeah, I think, I think certain people just kind of need to learn how to leave well enough alone, but... Yeah. Here's the... We're going to get a really good view of Quaker in just a sec. Railroad tracks. Still go through Cedar Rapids. Palmer Building, which is ITC. Palmer had the Palmer School of Penmanship and Business, and that ran from like the 1870s until the 1970s. We're going to learn you how to write good. Yep, and I think it really built a solid foundation of business education that's really in Cedar Rapids. Kirkwood and some of the other colleges have kind of picked that up. I really like, if you look at this one, and you look at the point of focus or whatever we were talking about earlier, look at those tracks and how far down you can see the tracks. Yes. That's a pretty cool thing. Oh. Over there, Cedar Lake, too. Oh, yes, the lake. Subsidies here, scoldings here. So it's just kind of cool. We'll maybe do a video of the whole Cedar Lake at some point, but it has to be better weather. Yeah, at some point. I'm pretty tired. Yeah, it's not going to be today. So, plus we're running around space. And there's the Quaker building. This is Quaker up close and personal. Yep. Quaker really provides a lot of high paying, good jobs in the area, and it's really a core bedrock. Yeah, the people, people who work at uh, Quaker Oats pretty much have it made in the shade. They have to work long hours, but they, uh, but they, uh, they make bank. Yeah, what 12, do they get paid, like 25 bucks an hour or something uh, like higher. that? I think it's like 30 an hour. I don't know, it's a lot of money. It really depends on what you do and how long you've been there. Yeah. But I mean, a lot of guys I know that work there, they're making like six figures. I mean, the thing is though, they're doing 12 hour days, seven days a week. Yeah. 40 weeks a year. Now, maybe they're not that bad. Maybe I'm over exaggerating it some, but they have a lot of forced mandatory overtime. And, yeah. yeah, which I would never do. No, like, I, I like 40 hours. Yeah, and to me, like for me, even 40 hours is too much. Well, actually, in the French system, they're like, si vous plaît, 35 hours, and le wine, and le goût. And le, le girls, and le, and le baguettes, and le croissants. <laughs> no, I think, it, isn't it, uh, they work three, they, it's a four-day week, but they work uh, 10 hours every, each week, or each day? I think it's less than 10 hours each day, but I, I wouldn't mind that. I would... I really think in a lot of ways. I feel like people. I feel like people work more than they have to. Yeah, and then they just buy shit. They just are consumers, which is the consumer. It's kind of the. Fraud and not. Yeah, the the employment system needs to kind of change for the times because I think the I think the forty hour work week is pretty outdated at this point. Yeah, but if it's, you go less than thirty hours, you don't get health insurance. Yeah, but I think that's one of the things that kind of needs to change because we're, you know, with automation and with, you know, we're getting to the point where it's just a fact not everybody has to work. You know, it's like you, you really should only have any business working if there's something you're actually good at and you actually are. Well, look at all the pigeons on the track. Yeah. Okay, now you're getting into like some Marxist theory. The no, no. The machines are replacing the people. No, it's it's actually more uh, technocracy uh, theory. Yeah. Because uh, it, it's just it's just a fact of the world now that uh, there there really aren't enough. A lot of jobs that people work are are really just kind of busy work jobs that that. Uh, they're make work jobs. They're make work jobs that uh, that uh, really only exist because people feel like everybody has to work. 
yeah. you know it's kind of it's it's out it's a, out of like a sense of fairness it's like oh well if i'm frittering my life away working 40 50 hours a week then you have to be too even though there's really nothing for you to do yeah. well no, no okay. we'll see it's cool to look at the angle we'll look at the cars as they come up the ramp let's just watch another one see how they're kind of going it's just kind of cool to look at that and look at the engineering and look at the motion and look at the movement Yes, I, I am a fan of this of this ramp and of the of the S curve, uh, the inter, the interstate S curve. It's kind of its own in a in a weird in a way. It's almost like its own skywalk. It's like a sky drive. Yeah, it is. Like because you're when you're going around this curve and over around that way, you're you're almost you're driving around downtown and around and kind of through downtown, but also slightly above it. Yes, which is kind of cool. And it's cool too. About ten years ago, in the portable eight cafes, that, that was the only. That way. was the only way. Yep. And I remember my dad and I drove the S curve uh, to take a look at the damage and the, the water and everything, and we were trapped. <laughs> I mean, like we really were. We we ended up at Thirty Third Avenue, uh, and we we got back. We had to get back on the interstate because it was the only way to get back to the east side, and uh, we didn't want to, but it was really the only way to do it. And if you, I mean, we couldn't get to, we couldn't go to Highway 30 either because going that way was even more, uh, more, um, it was even more blocked than, it, than going back the way we came. So even though it took about 45 minutes to get back, uh, back to the east side, uh, it was the only way to get there. Yeah, we'll have to do a bicycle build for two and do the trail. There's a bike trail. <laughs> <laughs> no. The bicycle build. <laughs> no. That'd be a pretty fun one. Like, and then there's the trail. And that, that leads us to that trail. So it's kind of cool. That trail actually goes all the way down. And we talked about trail use. Let's go back a little ways here. And you can see it parallel. At least you talked earlier in one of the videos about how you like the bike trails. And they are kind of cool. It parallels that other track. So this is the track where... Well, they, it, isn't this the track that, that goes, like, basically through the lake? Like, the, yeah. there, there's, like, a, a raised a raised area that goes that, that, that goes through the lake? It's yeah. like, a, like a land bridge, kind of? Kind of. But it's cool. But here, the trail is, is here. It goes to Cedar Lake, and then it goes all the way down. And we can look at it as it continues to go, um, continues to go down. Kind of follows over there, and just goes there. And I think that was another train track that was there. And way back there, you can see that nine-story garage or parking garage. See it? Yeah. Yep. One of our coolest points on the journey. And I'm getting pretty pooped and tired now too, I think. So I think we're we're getting good. Yep, so here we are at the end of a of a long journey. <laughs> a burning maze. Yeah. And stuff, maybe look at some books there. I'm down. I talked to mom about this. I'm going to probably buy you a pizza. We'll buy a big ass pizza from Need Pizza. Have you ate already? Um, I haven't, but that probably that wouldn't really work out so well today. Or carbs? Yeah. Okay. What do you want to do then? What do you think? I don't know. Like right now, I kind of feel like just going back to the, to the apartment and uh, chilling out for a while. Okay. I will let you know my internet. Oh, it's not? The building's internet is, but mine's fucked up. I'm actually having a tech meet me tomorrow. Shit. Well, that's not good. Yeah, but I think the, you can see when you pitch about my stuff, how bad the Riverview one is. 